One of the questions I get asked all the time is how can I record my iPhone screen? In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can do it, including one free option, two paid options. I'm gonna cover both wired and wireless solutions. So stick around. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we release a ton of content to help you produce better quality videos faster. If you're new here or you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure you click that big subscribe button. And at any point during the video, if you're looking for any links for anything that we're talking about, they'll all be linked in the description below. So let's get into it. Now, as you may have thought, it is actually easier. Or there's more options around recording your phone screen if you are using a Mac. The first option that we're gonna cover, as I said, is a free option, that is Mac only. The second option is also Mac only, which is a paid option, but it gives you more control. The third option is for Windows and for Mac, and it's actually wireless. So it's a pretty cool solution no matter which platform you're using. So the first option then is using QuickTime on Mac, and it's where you'll plug your phone directly into your computer using a lightning to USB cable. You'll open up QuickTime and you'll select File, New Movie Recording. Then under the little drop down arrow next to the record button, you can select your iPhone. And you can see straight away that your iPhone screen is then displayed in QuickTime. Now the other setting you might wanna change here is back under that drop down arrow, you can also select what microphone you want to use for the recording of this video. So if you wanna actually record the audio from your phone, then you can select your iPhone under microphone as well. You should also make sure that your quality is set to maximum. Then it's just a matter of opening the app or whatever you want to record, pressing record, and the file will then be recorded to your computer. Once you've finished recording, hit the stop button and then choose file save to save your file on your computer. So that's the first solution that's Mac only and you need to have your phone connected to your computer through USB. The next solution is Mac only as well and you will need to have your phone connected once again with USB, but this time we're gonna use ScreenFlow to do the recording. So ScreenFlow, if you haven't heard of it before, is an awesome screen recording tool and video editing tool on Mac and it sells for $99. So to record your iPhone screen in ScreenFlow, open up ScreenFlow, select File New and hit New Recording, and then tick the box Record Screen From and select your iPhone. And when you're ready to hit record, hit record. Now there's a heap more features and power in ScreenFlow than you'll find in the QuickTime option because you also have the ability to record your desktop screen, record from different and multiple microphones and even your webcam as well at the same time. So if you're trying to show a walkthrough on how to do different things with your phone, this is a great way that you can get all your recording done at once in one program and have everything synced up. When you wanna stop your recording, then go up to the ScreenFlow icon at the top and select Stop Recording. Now, another reason that ScreenFlow is definitely worth considering if you wanna record your iPhone screen is it supports both portrait and landscape and changing between the two while you're recording. And when you've finished doing your recording, you've got a decent video editing application there to cut down and to edit your video before you export it. And then when you're exporting it, you've got a heap more options than you'd find in QuickTime to really get the best results and the best output of your video for wherever you wanna use it. So ScreenFlow is definitely another solid option for recording your iPhone screen. But again, you are still tethered to the computer using your USB cable and it's Mac only. And now onto the third solution, which will work on both Mac and PC and is actually wireless. So you've got some flexibility to move away from your computer while you're recording your phone screen, as long as you're within Wi-Fi range. So how this is achieved is with a piece of software called Reflector 2. You can buy Reflector 2 for $14.99 and there's a free trial version available as well so you can try it before you buy it. But how it works is you'll install this on your PC or on your Mac You'll then need to make sure that your phone and your computer are both connected to the same Wi-Fi. And then all you need to do is to screen share your iPhone through to the computer. So if you swipe up on the bottom of your phone and select AirPlay monitoring, and then choose your computer. Now, before you jump in and press record, it's a good idea to click on settings and to go to the recording options and make sure that everything is set to the highest quality or the quality that you wanna be recording at. So you can start off by choosing your recording resolution. You've got the choices of 4K, 1080p, 720p, or 480p. Personally, I wouldn't go less than 1080p, but if you're after 4K, then you can do that as well. Your recording quality, you can choose very high, high, medium, low, or very low. Again, I'd recommend very high. And you can also choose your recording frames per second or your frame rate. Now, in most cases, you'll wanna leave this here at 30. 
Then it's just a matter of pressing record and recording your video. Once you're done with your video, press stop recording and it'll ask you where you wanna save the file. Now, one thing you need to make sure of when you're using Reflector is that both your phone and your computer have strong Wi-Fi signal. If the signal isn't great, then you can get patchy or, or a low quality video coming through from your phone to your computer. So your Wi-Fi signal here is really important. So there's three ways that you can easily record your iPhone screen, using QuickTime, ScreenFlow, or Reflector 2. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and click that big subscribe button if you haven't already, and check out the video linked on screen now, showing you how you can use Reflector 2 to mirror your phone screen while you're recording your videos on your smartphone. I'll talk to you soon.